He's from the foundation device team, like the, um, you know, the hardware wallet that looks like a dumb phone. Yeah, I think that is really cool. And that's very intuitive, like the fact that they've got like this device that yep. you can just sort of pretty much without much thought, you know, because we're used to mobile phone. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking, I'm taking away your space. Go, and go, crack on. Mate, it's like super, it's super handy. It's not too, so it's not as big as regular smartphones. And it's, it's just like back in the days, like the dumb phones, you can put them in your pockets. They're not heavy or anything. So you can yeah, have yeah, them with yeah. you all the time. And, um, we ended up talking, I think, 20 minutes sort of about the the silliness that you often read online and then at the same time, sort of the, the uselessness in it. So mm. on their um, marketing material, they had, you know, a fully open source and sort of claims on there. And as a joke, I was like, oh, is it really open source? Because there's a huge discussion happening in the privacy world with them and their licensing that it's not fully open source and like you're scamming people off and all of that crap. Hey. Um, just interesting for people who spend time in this and normally looking in, he reads open source and he goes like, oh yeah, I can verify it here and there. That's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, they sort of had a laugh. Uh, we, we then ended up talking about these things and they went, you know, for 99.9% .9 of the customers we sell our products to, they don't give a shit about these kind of things. And mm, just the, mm. that 0.5%, yeah, it is annoying, but then at the same time, you sort of play the marketing game, right? If they engage, there's nothing as bad engagement online. We can always prop up and have a counter narrative. So I found this fascinating that mm. I hear this from hardware wallet sellers who, I mean, they're, they're essentially relying on us being proactive, you know, and, and buying their stuff. And uh, yeah, I had the same talk then outside with a um, lightning company who basically said the same thing, just, hey, we build products, they take time. It, it, it's sort of a long road down to explaining this to, you know, big merchant chains, like, I don't know, a Tesco mm -hmm. or something. Mm. But we will inevitably be get there because like when the internet right. came out, it wasn't perfect right away. YouTube didn't exist right away, right? So what's the fuss about? And it's just, it's yeah. just refreshing to hear this in real life, uh, see that there are other people with similar opinions. And if you then discuss this in a bigger group, they just went mm. all went like, yeah, there's actually a big point to that.